Former union heavyweight Martin Pakula has been sworn in as Victoria's new transport minister and his first order of business to spend the next few weeks finding out what it's really like to ride the rails. Jacqueline Freegard reports. It's an unfamiliar sight, new Transport Minister Martin Pakula actually catching public transport. But it's something the Premier says will be a lot more common from now on. Probably fair to say he's a casual user of the system at the moment. Um, he will be an intense user of the public transport system. He'll be riding the trains, he'll be riding the trams, he'll be riding the buses. The former union boss and industrial relations minister says he's ready for the challenge of trying to roll out the troubled My Key ticketing system. Um, my priority is to uh, get on every train line, uh, to meet the travelling public, to listen to their concerns, um, to find out as much as I can about the system myself. Well it doesn't matter which minister John Brumby throws this mess at, it's still going to be a mess and Victorians will continue to suffer. Minkowski's departure from Parliament for family health reasons has paved the way for a pre-election reshuffle. Mill Park MP Lily D'Ambrosio will take Miss Koski's place in Cabinet as Minister for Community Development. And Jacqueline joins me now. Jackie, is he up to the job? Well, Pete, he is certainly bright enough, but he's only been in Cabinet for 12 months as Industry Minister, and taking on the challenges of our public transport system is a major step up for him. Then again, he's a fresh face, and unlike Linkowski, he hasn't been tainted by the debacle that is Mikey and the myriad of failures on the train system. And all of that has no doubt come into the Premier's mind, Pete. What's he like as a public performer? Well, he's not bad, but as I said, he's quite a new Minister, and he's not used to being put under pressure, and that's something that Linkowski always struggled with. And while I think it may take some time, Martin Pakula's appointment, Pete, in the end, should be a good one for John Brumby. Right, thanks, Jackie.